So for our handwriting focus today, we are looking at anti-clockwise patterns. So what I've drawn here, just to introduce what that means or what that looks like, is a clock. You can look around your house or your room and you might see a clock that looks something similar to this. Now, if we were to say that something was going in a clockwise direction, we would be saying it would be following the direction that a clock goes. It goes around this way, it goes from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 and so on, around this way. So if our focus today is anti-clockwise patterns, we would actually be looking at letters that when we write them, our pencil and our hand goes in an anti-clockwise direction, the opposite direction of what a clock goes, like this that way. Let me show you a couple of examples. I'm just going to rub out my beautiful clock. For example, the letter A, if we start it here, it goes in this direction, anti-clockwise, the opposite direction of what our clock, if we just have it here, goes. If our clock is supposed to go this way, our letter A goes the opposite direction. Another letter, is the letter C. It looks a little bit like that, going the opposite direction of what the clock goes. C. Let me just rub out this clock. A few more letters that um, move in an anti-clockwise direction include the letter D, the letter G, the letter O, the letter E, the letter Q, and of course we already had the letter A and the letter C. With my red pen, I'm going to show you, remember, if we have our clock and anti-clockwise is going the opposite direction, the letter D goes the opposite direction, the letter G, the letter O goes the whole way around. The letter E still goes this way. The letter Q. The letter A. And the letter C. Kind of does half a clock. So there's some examples of letters that have anti-clockwise patterns that go in a direction when we draw them um, that goes anti-clockwise. So now you can move on to the next slide and have a look at the activity that I've got for you to do.